Shine. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to a glorious week of checking these buttons. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. We haven't forgot about y'all. We've been, of course, reformatting and just re-strategizing the whole channel, but we ain't going nowhere. If anything, we blowing up in this year for the rest of this year anyway. I'm getting tongue tired. We got a lot to cover. Let's jump into it. Let's go. All right, ladies and gents, as you know, DBS Broly, the trailer was just released. I believe it was yesterday, and the FGC is going fucking bonkers to say the least. Everybody is hyped. They're like, yo, check it out. The graphics, the way this man looks and the gameplay just looks amazing people are just like yo this is hype And next up, we got a hype ass video. This is a crowd reaction from Damascus. He actually posted this, so big up to Damascus. Follow him, show him some love. I'll put the link to all his information in the description field below. Definitely check it out, it's hype. <laughs> Next topic, in case you haven't heard by now, this one actually just broke the other day. Echo Fox, ladies and gents, is no more. It has been dissolved. A lot of people have been breaking this story. It's it's crazy. It caught me out of left guard. I know that we all know they had problems, right, with like the racist stockholder and like uh, who was it? Uh, Rick Fox was fighting it and like trying to like bring back the company. And it looks like you know they have a lot of top players, and all of a sudden, boom, they just said it has been dissolved. Echo Fox is no more. So that brings a lot of new questions like, holy shit, are you trying to say some of the biggest names, hands down, like Sonic Fox, like MK Leo, and of course many others have no longer sponsored, like exactly what does this mean? Now in saying that, of course, the FGC has responded. Most people are like, yo, RIP Echo Fox, showing nothing but love, saying a lot of people like Justin Wong here, saying it was one of the best, or some of the best people he's ever worked with. A lot of people saying the same, like it was one of the best spots I've ever worked for, best people, good people, just a strong company they've done so much for the FGC so it's really sad to see it end this way but you know RIP in the end I notice if I look if you look on the Twitter page for Echo Fox you notice a couple interesting things for one you notice that they're still there but for two you know that they actually haven't posted anything I believe since September which is kind of unusual I didn't really pay attention to it until just yesterday but but it looks like they haven't posted anything recently and on another note on top of that it looks like some of the top players in question here you got MK Leo Sonic Fox they they haven't posted anything either about this, about Sonic Fox, or not Sonic Fox, about Echo Fox being over. A lot of people have said nothing, but on that hand, uh, Sonic Fox, I noticed he's been really good about not saying stuff when it comes to that company. Uh, you remember like a few months back when Echo Fox like released all those players and a lot of people were like, holy shit, what's happening? That was like last year. That's when a lot of esports teams, including here in Dallas, collapsed. Like the shit was just over. All kinds of top players got released and I noticed when that happened a lot of the top players that remained in those organizations said nothing like there was no like public like statements or anything like that like Sonic Fox a lot of these guys at least on Twitter they weren't really vocal about it so in regards to that when you look at this situation it's no surprise to me that they're still not saying anything about this so it kind of leaves a question right here you got these guys which Sonic Fox actually just won again but what's new he just won again this past weekend um, a lot of these guys um, for one, they're gonna get scooped up, right? The, these guys are not gonna go unsponsored for very long. People are gonna fight over these damn guys. But for two, it, le it begs the question like, how soon is this gonna happen? Did it already actually, in fact, already happen? Because some people said they were under the impression that it happened a few weeks ago, if not a couple months. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning for that HC. That's right, we're gonna keep it going. I know we're not oversaturating the channel, in case you don't know. We are not posting every day on this channel anymore. We're posting like only three to four times a week, maybe four, but definitely three. So we're definitely spacing it out. We're gonna put more quality, more content, just kind of broaden the channel, make it a little bit longer, make it more quality, you know what I'm saying? And not burn out on this end. And for those of you that might be paying attention to my arm, I'm not sure if you can see this, but I got a lot of writing. I got a lot of nonsense right there. It's because my daughter is a little tattoo artist and she felt like writing on me. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you bright early tomorrow morning. Peace. Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe.
To all the new free agents this year, searching for a new home in that perfect professional match, search no further. Hi, I'm Cash Montoya. And I'm Carlos De Nero. And together, we own and operate Team Evil Fox Liquid Winter Cats, and we want you. Here at Team EFLWC, we take ordinary people and make them champions. Whether washed up like Wolf Chrome, or slow and out of shape like Wolf Chrome. Tired of those typical sponsorships just doing the minimum? Here at our organization, we do the maximum! Five-star hotel rooms. Edible team jerseys. Versace fight sticks. Yeezy stick bags. Personal limo drivers. Rolex underwear. Wingstop. Doritos. Bud Light. Personal exotic escorts. Yeah, the good kind. The expensive kind. <laughs> <laughs> Just listen to this testimony. I mean, I guess I'm sponsored by these guys. I don't even really know. They just walked up to me and gave me money. I don't really even play video games, to be honest. So, 2018, I really wanted to play AE. And I was happy to be able to play AE. Team Evil Fox Liquid Winter Cats is here to stay. We're a family owned and operated company with Christian values. So you bitches better sign up today.